So earlier today, while Nikki was shopping, I was boiling potatoes. And I was also thinking about this picture. Here we are again of me contemplating this plate of food. Those are, along with a braised pork and sauerkraut, which was delicious, there was a dumpling, they called it. So I started asking him about the dumplings, and there's a lot of people do it a lot of different ways. This is the non-yeast way. All right, so I'm kind of winging this here. I love potatoes, what are we making? I know, I know, I, I know you do. Take your two eggs and okay. beat them up, if you will. Now, if you like this, and if this works out like I hope it will, I'll bet you this is something you'll be wanting to make. Really one of my favorite things? Mm-hmm. Whip them up. Go ahead and mix that up, whip those up. And let's take about three tablespoons of butter and about a third of a cup of, this is heavy whipping cream. You can use most of that. Now mix that up if you will. Okay, let's take your potatoes, which have been boiled and chilled. Am I mashing these? Let's smash those. All right, I'll tell you what we can do. We can now start to put everything together. If you want to take your your liquid parts and your solid parts, we might not need all that potato. Okay. But go ahead and start putting those in together and mix them up, and you're going to make kind of a dough out of this. Oh, okay. Now this is the non-yeast version. Go with about half of that. Right. So I'm just mixing them in. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to start adding flour in here until you get kind of a dough going. All right. So I'm just going to a little bit of flour at a time and keep on mixing it up. It's going to get messy. Yeah. But it's worth it. See, I picked the pours job. <laughs> I'm always the mixer of the, of the gross stuff. Now you're going to get kind of a sticky kind of dough at first. It's like a potato cake or something? Mm, just, you'll see. It's very interesting. Very sticky. That's pretty interesting. I feel like I got dough here. You know what you're going to do with that? You think about potato bread. If you go yeah. to the store and buy hamburger buns, yeah. potato buns. We're going to boil that. Oh, really? We're Interesting. Boil it for 35 minutes. Now let's cut that. Let's cut that down to like a two thirds, and then we're just going to do one big one here. We'll save that for later. What we want to do is get some water boiling over here to a rolling boil, and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to shape this. It's going to grow a little bit too. And we're just going to boil this. Just gonna boil. Really? That's interesting. It's interesting stuff. Now this is what they called a dumpling. That's a big dumpling. You would have it sliced on your plate. When I saw it and I looked at it and I tasted it and saw the consistency of it. And I'd heard about it, but I hadn't eaten them up to this point. That's about ready to go, Ms. Farmer. All right, so I'm just putting this in the water. It's just very You're carefully. Do it? Yeah, so if something right. goes bad, it'll be my It's all fault. you. I'm just gonna very gently. Oh, wow. That's gonna go on the bottom. Okay. I'm just going to try to stick a little bit first, so we got to kind of gently move it around. Interesting. It's going. Now let's get a lid to that. Ready? And turn it down just a little bit. But we're going to go 35 minutes. Here's where we're at. I'm excited. Look at our dumpling. It's so nice. And if you'll just hang on to that, we'll cut this rounded end off. Look at that. Look at the steam still coming out. Normally, once you let it cool a little bit, that's kind of what it looks like. You'll notice the little holes in the bread and you can see pieces of potatoes. And Nikki, I'll step out of the way and let you cut a couple pieces about like that All right. off. Can I try this bread? Yes, you can. Oh, this is so good. And there is your dumpling. Oh. And if you look at it, it's real dense, real thick. And it's got potatoes. It's so good. I don't know how to describe that. I love potatoes and bread. It's like the best mixture of them both together. Dumpling. I think you're supposed to eat oh. with a fork. But... Are you? 